हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डील विद अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट दैट ऑफ सक्सेसिव डिस्काउंट्स टू लेट यू अंडरस्टैंड इन अ बेटर वे व्हाट सक्सेसिव डिस्काउंट इज आई विल टेक एन एग्जांपल वेयर इन यू गो इन टू अ टेक्सटाइल शॉप एंड द शॉपकीपर आस्क यू दैट द एम आर पी ऑफ दिस आइटम इज सो एंड सो एंड यू विल बी गेटिंग ए डिस्काउंट ऑफ फिफ्टी प्लस ट्वेंटी ऑन द टेक्सटाइल्स सो you tend to think that 50 plus percent or and 20 percent discount will add up to 70 percent discount on the mrp whereas the situation is little bit different the successive discounts of 50 and 20 will not add up to 70 it adds up to little less than 70 which we have to calculate so this is my aim today i have to tell you methods through which you can find out a single discount which is equivalent to two or more given discounts it can be more also uh, you can be offered a discount of 30% plus 20% plus 10% on mrp but these three discounts when added together seems like 60% of mrp but actual situation is that it is less than 60% so today we are going to Uh, do some methods through which we can calculate a single discount which is equivalent to two or more given discounts now for illustrating this let me take a simple example wherein you are given a discount of 10% plus 20% on the mrp of an item now i want to find a single discount which is equivalent to this now there are three basic methods through which i can do this so i am going to illustrate this through all the three methods now the first method is to have the mrp as rupees 100 if i consider mrp as rupees 100 so 100 rupees the first discount is 10% so t- minus 10% 10% of 100 is rupees 10 so 10 rupees is subtracted now mrp is 90 rupees this is after 10% discount now on rupees 90 you get a discount of 20% for the discount of 20% so 20% of 90 is rupees 18 so 90 minus 18 is 72 so you will have to pay rupees 72 in place of rupees 100 when you get successive successive discounts of 10% and 20% on the mrp so this discount is rupees 100 minus 72 that is 28 rupees so on 100 rupees so 28% discount you have got so see 10 plus 20 totals up to 30% but actual discount is 28% only so this is one method now in the second method you in uh, most of the books this formula is given for calculating the successive discount directly now if you consider this as x and this as y so successive discount is calculated by using the formula x plus y plus xy upon 100 now this is one of the direct methods which is given in books you have to consider the discount as negative because it is always subtracted so minus 10 minus 20 x is 10 and y is 20 but i am taking them as negative plus minus 10 into minus 20 upon 100 so this is minus 30 plus 200 upon 102 so minus 28 so discount is 28% now this is the second method both the methods are often used by students uh, some use this method taking 100 as mrp and some use the direct formula now i am going to tell you another method for calculating this successive discounts into a single discount now suppose you are given 10% discount so 10% means 10 upon 100 which is 1 by 10 and 20% means 20 upon 100 which is 1 by 5 now the trick is to calculate this using a matrix what i am going to do is see 1 upon 10 means you get one discount on 10 rupees so you will have to pay 9 rupees so 
discount will mean 1 by 10 and this 1 by 10 means you have been given 1 rupee discount on 10 rupees so you were to spend 10 rupees but now you are to spend only rupees 9 similarly 1 by 5 1 by 5 means you are getting a discount of 1 on 5 so you were to spend 5 rupees but now you have to pay only 4 rupees so just take the product of these two 50 and 36 and convert this into 100 50 ratio 36 means 100 ratio now you have to multiply by 272 so when you have 100 MRP you have to pay 72 rupees so you get 28% discount 100 minus 72 that is 28% discount so this is yet another method through which you can calculate a single discount which is equivalent to two successive discounts now let me illustrate this using one more method one more formula say we have a discount of 5% say 50 okay 50% plus 20% now the this trick 50% means 50 upon 100 that is 1 by 2 20% means 20 upon 100 that is 1 by 5 so on 2 rupees you get a discount of 1 so you have to pay 1 on 5 rupees you have get a discount of 1 so you have to pay 4 so 5 to the 10 you have to multiply this 5 to the 10 1 for the 4 so when the MRP is 10 you have to pay 4 so when MRP is 100 10 times you have to pay 40 so discount is 100 minus 40 that is 60 percent this method is far more easier and involves lesser calculation to find the successive discount equivalent to two given discounts and you can extrapolate this method for calculating a single discount when there are three successive discounts given you can try that try any of the three methods whichever you are comfortable with but second method can be used only for two discounts whereas first and third method can be used for three discounts as well keep learning keep enjoying it is a very important concept for competitive exams and share and subscribe the video if you like it